Okay, we are back. Alright, so where we have to go, not sure where. Um... Point A to B? Uh... Okay, so where do I go though? Shroom. Oh, Chloe, there you are. I heard that Jill and Hans were here, so I sneak out of the castle and came to see them. You sure did know how to act uh, princessy. But of course, he and I wanted to thank you too. Be nothing but helpful at every turn. Mm, that's nice. Suddenly, all you. We've learned a whole lot just by uh, from me knowing you. Good job. Well, I'm actually drunk, and I'm so bad at this. Uh, so try talking to the Bracer Guild people in or castles. Gotcha. What I'm trying to say is that we're friends. That's what friends do. So believe me. And thanks, I'm sorry. Still, I'm so glad to see you again. Okay, cool. So, Bracer Guild, I guess. We can go to the Bracer Guild. So, Bracer Guild will be here, right? I don't have any new helmets, right? You two might feel free to go out and join your date. A date? Who's in a date? We're still not dating yet. Uh, yet? Uh, at all, I mean, at all. <laughs> The Royal Army will be out in our force during the festivities, but the other, uh, but the other braces should be around as well. Check the bars, jobs, and inns. You're sure to find them. Okay, so bar sure inns. Which, um, maybe here. Oh. But I, don't, I know it's about here. Oh, here. What's your next move? Back to the Republic. I'm in a rush. There doesn't seem to be any crisis in the Republic so bad that I absolutely have to be there. Besides, this country is full of find opponents from you, Bracer Guild. As long as I'm here, it would be a waste to live without testing my middle a bit more. Find opponents, who do you have in mind? For starters, you've got a Agate, the so-called Heavy Blade. Not to mention, your Silver Streak is your art, and who could forget? The champions of the year's modern arch competitions, perhaps the strongest of them all. That's a sweet, but I don't think it means I have to go anything on you. I don't need to hold back, Vanessa. It's on me. She also doesn't speak for both of us. Feel free to hold back if you like, in fact, I might even prefer it. <laughs> Could be a good opportunity to hone my skills. And if seen the immovable made an appearance there. Why don't you try and get in next year? Well, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So, what are we doing first? So, so, who are I talking to? Oh, this guy's here. Dear Ultra Job, based on your performance, I say you two are already full fledged bracers. But never forget that these are the only first steps in your career. Thank you, sir. So, Kurt, are you feeling any better? I'm fine, just fine. I remember just about everything, except the entity of the bastard who erased my memories. That's the only mi the missing piece. Gotcha. So... Um, um, I think the castle is the last place, right? The castle was the last place, wasn't it, that we have to go to? Oh, that's the media. I was well leader of this episcopus with his mask, and let me tell you, he's one handsome man. I wonder why he wears it. <laughs> he's got the shoes for the, the huts for Lawrence. Lol. The square must be um, a light with activity right about now. That's important matters to discuss at the moment. You two go enjoy festivities. It pays me to request that you return to service after closing the, the shop on your life, Cassius. But gentle th uh, though you be, I know you have an iron will, and I know you will do what you must. My serious apologies to you, but if I ask you, could you let me use your strength for a time? Okay. Yeah, so where else do we go? I know, we, I know we're supposed to go to like a special place, right? I just forgot where that, where that was. It's like a special place that we have to go to. Uh, I might have to just look at my my, my quickly my board quickly. See if I uh, if I remember correctly where to go. So where do we go here? Not sure. Mm. <laughs> um do 
Uh, where do we have to go? I'm not sure. Okay. So apparently... We have to go to the castle, apparently. Uh, where's the castle again? Oh, it's the cathedral. Let's see that way. Right there, let's see that Oops, my bad. I don't want to go here. Oh, I'm so lost right now. I'm so lost. No. Yeah, not entirely sure where I need to go right now. I'm kind of confused. Mm. Oh, Olivia, oh, Joshua, I heard from Cassie that you become full fledged versus. Well, well done. Congratulations, my dear our little pussycats. We just, uh, we'll just go with things. Olivia, what brings you here? I heard you were invited to tonight's uh, celebratory ban uh, banquet. But well, I didn't think you'd be here already. Yeah, seriously, what's the guy who loves parties doing drinking alone in a quiet place like this? Better be careful or some people might start thinking you're an imposter. <laughs> what? Amugans, Amugas, Am Amus, Amus. The news of you to become in full fledged race just filled my heart uh, almost to bursting. So much that I saw no uh, records, but to hold an, an impromptu concert in front of the Grand Arena. And if only I had witnessed the unbridled excitement I inspire in my late legion of fans. Right. Makes me think of your performance at Hawking Gate. Indeed, and such a public explosion of passion let me drained. So I wander here for a quiet place to drink and brood. Ah, me. It, uh, in restless dreams, walking alone. Basically, you need to talk to Olivier. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, so this is this is like the last one. Oh, okay. Oh, this is like a quest. Oh, before you see it, the beauty and the beast that is a man. I can't make those words if two fit together. If you need anything uh, resembling sense. Okay, I gotcha. So... Okay. Okay, so we have to go to the north area. Gotcha. Yeah, that, that's what, you know, the thing was saying. Go to the north. So where is the north area though? The north person area? At the department store. What is the department store though? What what is the rest area? The depart oh the department store. Oh, that's gonna be here, right? Like is that gonna be on no, that's, that would be this way, right? Yeah, there, here you go. Right here. Yeah, that, right here. There we go, got it. Okay, I finally made it to the race area. You sure you don't want to look around more? Or are you finally here? I'm ready. Let's stop here, rest. Yep. Well, walking over, uh, all over the place like that can really take it out of you. Out of you. Glad we can go off our feet uh, for a minute then. For the moment, at least Grunstall seems like I'm genuinely at peace. You really think so? I'm just glad that we can leave leave it all up to that. Oh, really? 
Of course, I really think it should be his responsibility to begin with, since he showed up late. Yeah, I suppose so. Maybe it's just part of his nature. Oh well, it's not like we can do anything about it. Get your popcorn ready? Well, it's kind of late, so I don't want to eat any food, to be honest. Which means we're not beholden to any specific branch, and can go whenever we want. Anytime a branch is short-hearted and requests help, we'll just take an airliner together. But our new newfound freedom will also be in greater responsibilities. Sure, but I think we'll be able to handle it. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we can actually... We actually played a major part in, in a stop in a queue. And it means I'll never have to hear Dad going about how he worries him where you're not around to give me an eye on me. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that his days of saying that are at an end. You really showed him what you can do. So I think he'd like to stay with you from now on. Huh? Huh? Would you... Would I just... Wait. Would I just get... Oh, would I just get on your nerves? No, nothing like that, but what do you mean by stay with me? Just what I, we know, just that we know each other so well, and we can practically read. Uh, hello, Magic. <laughs> Wait, are you still streaming there? Are you still streaming? I'm not sure. If you are, I might just go your way after. We can practically read each other's minds. I think we can make a good team, and I had to break it up. Oh, you mean for like a brace of reasons? And here I was thinking you were going to tell me uh, you'd be confession or something. What? Ah! Nothing, forget I said anything. <laughs> Still, what was that all? <laughs> Boy, it sure is hot out today. And there's nothing to beat hot weather like Astro, huh? I live, in, uh, I live in Treat, so you wait right here. No? I don't think there's an ice cream stand over there, that way. I wonder if she... Nah, there's no way. My! But do I envy you with... Do I envy your youth sometimes? Professor Alva, it's been a long time since we last met, hasn't it? So much has happened lately, but things are finally settled down. People truly thrive the most in peaceful times. Oh, is something the matter? You look a bit pale. I would have thought you'd generally be in better spirits now that you've attained senior braces, that is. And speaking of which, I truly must congratulate you on your on your success. See, this guy's eyes, they're like red. They look so fucking suspicious to me. So long as, of course, I'm not being too forward in doing so. Yeah, see, ever since we met first, you always made me feel really uncomfortable. I'm a little more used to you now, but I still get the shakes a little bit whenever you look at me. Oh. And all the cases we've dealt with, there have been people who just forget things. You're always there investigating, no matter where you've gone. Your timing's almost a little too good. What really clued me in was Kurt's reaction. He lost his memories, too. He said he wasn't feeling so well when he was in the stands. And you were right there with him. Presalva, was it you? Haha. <laughs> Impressive. Even with the cog uh, cognizance and recollection being puppeted. You were still able to piece it all together. Indeed, it was it was I. Allow me to clear away your confusion. See, so yeah, this guy is evil. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, you, you are. So you finally remember me, do you? When your heart was in tatters, it was I who rebuilt it. I who restored it. It was I who poured a soul back into the empty vessel. You have the power to twist the minds and memories of men? The Seven Snake's Apostles. The Seven Snake Apostles. The Anguis. You are one of them. Wasteman of the face of the Faceless. Wasteman of the Faceless. Ha. I've not heard that name pass your lips in ages. Enforcer number 13. Uh, 13. The Black Fan, Joshua Stry. You. You're behind all of this. Which means that Lieutenant L Lawrence. Oh, hello. Oh, dang it, Livy. <laughs> but you have to wait, though. You have to wait, Livy. Which means that Lieutenant Lawrence has to be. It is as you surmise. I was kind enough not to erase your memories of him. I'm not surprised you were able to make the connection so quickly. I'm sure he'd be pleased to know you were thinking of him. So you. You're here to finish me off. Ha. Nothing of the sort. The first, the first phase of a plan went, out, went off without a hitch. Since I've, I've a moment to spare, I simply thought I'd come to see you. First phase, the seal in the old ruins. 
the gate which blocks the path the king. Wrenching opens was wrenching open was but the first step of many. And already there exists no means of closing it again. I knew this wouldn't be the end of it. What the hell is this shining ring? And what is the little society after? If you really wish to know, why don't you re rejoin? I'm certain that you'll be able to return t to activity, Yuri, in the time. You needn't to look so glum, we can get you back into fighting form. Please spare me your withering looks. I do understand that you have a family now, whom you regard as important. You greatly admire your father, to say nothing of the girl you adore so adore. Even with him on your side, throwing those gifts away would be the actions of an idiot. And so, I've come to here to see you. I came to offer you the true freedom from our, our association, as thanks for the integral role you so perfectly played. Which means that I must congratulate you, Joshua, you already a free man. I am most grateful for the, the work that you've done over the past five years. What? Oh, that is so boring. I was expecting a bit more cheer out of you at hearing such news. Perhaps there's still a flaw in the sign of your emotions. I've been helping you? What kind of bullshit are you expecting me to swallow? Oh, pardon me, I completely forgot to tell you. I never intended you to be an assassin, but rather a spy. What? Society abandoned you. We played we played on the pities of a noble-hearted man. And it worked. You were given a loving home. And while you were there, our contacts would check in on you from Tanzania. And you would tell them everything. We were... Oh... Ah, so sometimes he would actually go back to being his old self, and he would re report on basically anything that the guild was doing. We we're particularly interested in your reports on the movements of the Brazil guild, as well as your intel on Cassius Bright on one of his But of course, you wouldn't remember having done such things, uh, having done things such as that. You were not yourself at the time. Cassius Bright, as rank brazier was the foremost imp impediment to, to the success of this plan. We felt certain that he would be quick to act in order to stop any coup d'etat that should occur. But through a detailed analysis of his behavioral patterns, we felt advised a plan that would lead him out of the country and out of the way. The intel you've unknowingly been feeding us has been most useful indeed. No. And so I must thank you again. The past five years have been of uh, inestimable help. No, you're lying. You have to be lying. No. All the time I spend with Stell. Why is sad? Has your faint ignorance not earned you a beloved family as well as, as a happy home? If you say nothing, they will, be, they will never know. However, it is the sort of thing that might heavily weigh on a fella. Since your fellow members of the Bright Household are such a good people, Perhaps a little too good for you, for a monster such as yourself. However much you may model your behavior after a normal, decent person, you are no such thing. You must surely have noticed your ability to reason through and execute a solution to a problem, no other circumstances. Your physical strength and reflexes are better than an, an entire squadron of normal soldiers. You are my greatest creation, my human weapon. That is who and what you truly are, the Black Fang. You have no place in the lives of normal people. You'll never be happy in the presence again, you can be. When it comes too much for you, you're always welcome to return to the Grand Master's Society of Souls. Back to Ouroboros. Bye! <laughs> and he goes. Is this my punishment? My sister and Loi. I. What do I do? I don't know how to face him after all that, but I've kept him waiting for way too long. I'm still getting late, too. I'm such an idiot. I need to learn to think before I open my mouth. I wonder if Joshua's quite figured me out. Gotta cool it down. I feel like I'm stuck in a perma blush mode. Oh, uh, still, I thought I might find you around this somewhere. Here yeah, somewhere. Hi, Professor Alva. Must have seen you here. Hi, indeed. I was actually just speaking with Joshua. Congratulations on your, on your promotion to senior bracer status. Thanks. Is something wrong? I don't know. Something just seems different about you. What's good you looking so cheerful? Okay, you've got me. 
Tell the truth, I made several major advancements in my archaeological research. You might say that is I uh, split me in a good mood. That's awesome. Oh sorry. The ice cream is going to melt, so I better get going. I'll see you later. I see. Cassius Brightstore. I think she's going to be quite a lot of fun. Hey, sorry it took so long. It was super crowded here at the oh, sorry. Uh, but I have returned with you with your valuable food. Cool, thanks. Now we can eat it like, like kings. Yeah. So, but earlier. Yeah, I want to apologize for that. I didn't mean to be so vague. It just wasn't an appropriate time for confessions, you know? Oh, sure. I didn't really mind so much. Well, when I gave it some more thought, it, se I, it seemed kind of like this silly to try and rush things. We may be seeing the braces now, but. It, that just means that we have different work on to focus on. We might have to really consider our future prospects. Right. If we get married, we'll have to think about raising children. <laughs> okay, she's thinking of something entirely different. Ah, uh, I just, just I've got to stop getting ahead of myself. Well, it's evening already, so why don't we eat our ice cream on the way back? Everyone's probably going waiting for us. Hey Joshua, what is it? Did you have something you wanted to discuss about the future? No. What would be... What would give you that idea? Come on. Let's get back to the castle. Mmm. So he's like a member of the Twelve Apostles. Oh. Well, not Joshua, but like the other guy. The professor. Well, strong still. You've been completely on edge for a while now. Something in your mind? Yeah. Hey, Zero. Did you think Joshua was acting weird uh, at dinner? If anyone was acting weird, I'd say it was you. It was as calm as ever this. Yeah, well, yeah, but... Aha. Uh -huh. I see, I get it. Get what? You can't get secrets from me. I had a feeling about it, but I was wondering if you'd ever admit it to yourself. Just wait. You're kind of falling for Joshua, aren't you? You can tell. It's pretty obvious, sorry, hun. But I'm guessing you haven't told him anything about this. No. Just always picking on me, telling me what uh tell me what a dope I am. Not that I should be criticizing anyone, I guess. You're so naive. It's a wonder how you've lasted this long. You need to learn to look a little deeper. Big sister is ready to begin your education in love still. <laughs> I'm never asking you for advice again. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm sorry, I don't mean I don't mean to tease. But you guys stayed out just when puberty was about to hit. It's only logical that you'd start picking up on feelings for each other. How oh, you think so? Traveling together just seems like such a petty reason for that kind of thing. I guess I've gotten a little more self-aware since we started all this. Ah, this isn't like me at all. Ah, uh, you're the, the proverbial flower that refuses to blossom. Every girl feels that way. I don't want to lecture you on talk about this or talk about this with you if you're not ready. But if you are, then... What say we have ourselves some girl talk, huh? Would it be help? Would it help you if I told you your fortune? Yeah, okay. I promise you, I'll listen to whatever you have to say. Okay. Okay. Time for you less on my uh, prodigy. Still, big sister is moved to tears. On second thought, never mind. But thank you. I do feel a, a little bit better. I'm gonna go see Joshua for a little bit. Oh. You're going to you're going to tell tell him not about that. There really does seem to be something weird going on with him. I want to see what's uh I want to see what's that about first. Oh. Well, you do seem to know him better than anyone else. I'm sure that everything will turn out just fine. Uh between the two of you. Maybe you can even Um You can even have a nice calm discussion with him and be open about what's in your mind. I don't think I'm quite ready for that for that yet. Okay, I'll see you later. Young love. Ah, they'll probably be fine. They're not here. Oh yeah, they're still in some meeting, I think. But where's Joshua? Joshua. Is he playing somewhere then? Oh, he's outside somewhere. Okay. Oh, the garden turns, so he would be where? These are the garden turns, so he would be 
Oh, hello. Oh, Tita. That sounds so pretty. Who's playing it? Oh, yeah, that's not, uh, he's not playing harmonica for you before, has he? That's Joshua. Joshua, I didn't know he could play the harmonica. He's good. Yeah, he's all right. I'm too clancy to play any kind of instrument myself. He's lucky to have that kind of talent. Uh, if he gets clancy, that doesn't make me. <laughs> uh, Zine. So where is the exit? Up here, yeah. Oh, he would be up here, like at the top. No? Where the fuck is he then? Oh. Where, where, the, where is he? I thought he'd be here. Did I miss him or? Oh, he's... <coughs> I wonder, I mean, is he going to reveal the secret? That he's actually somebody who worked for the society, like the uh, Ouroboros? Estelle. No, that's not, isn't it? Yeah. That's the, the, the song, man. The Robots of the Light. Uh, I've lost a lot. But this song... Hey, how's it going, Rayless? How's it going, my dude? Hi, man. How'd you go with your stream, dude? How'd you go with your stream? And this harmonica have always been with me. I've been thinking about why I play it. Maybe it's a habit I should quit. I think I want to tell you what I was doing before I met you. Joshua, okay. This might take a while, do you mind? Not at all. I'll listen to you, whatever I have to say. Thank you. Like, basically, he used to be an assassin, essentially. Once upon a time. And there lived a little boy, all by myself. It was a timid sword relying on the kindness of others, without a single remaining trait. But he had people he cared about with him, so he was happy. But one day... Something happened that broke his heart. He forgot how to speak, to feel, even to eat. All he could do was play his harmonica. No matter how hard his caretaker tried, nothing helped his heart to mend, and he grew weak out of the day. One day, a wandering magician appeared before the boy. I will heal the boy's heart for you, he said. Provided, of course, I am compensated. And so the boy was given over to, into the magician's care. As he attempted to piece the broken heart back together, the magician found that he could shape the boy's existence into anything he wished, and so the boy's new heart became that of a murderer. For two years, the boy killed every single day. Under cover of night, he murdered dozens of soldiers. He slid through the throat of an initial cabinet minister who was under heavily armed guard. Sometimes he used explosives, which are maimed and killed innocent bystanders. At some point, he became regarded as something more than a murky uh, killer. He was known as the, the Black Fang, and then it struck fear into the hearts of men. One day, the magician gave the boy an assassination order. His target was a hero, a man who had protected his queen and nation from the threat of an invading northern country. He was a brave who held a special rank shared only by three others in the entire land. But the target was too strong. Ah! He defeated the boy with all the ease of a tiger, sweating at a playful cub. At that moment, some sort of some of the magician's servants showed up. Since the boy's face had been seen, he was now a loose end to be tied up. But someone came to the haze and drove the tigers away. He was, of course, the man he had come to kill. And so the boy, the boy was taken to the man's house, where he met a young girl. He lived there for five years, always feeling like he was lost in some wonderful dream. In the real world, he would never be allowed to have such dreams. All dreams must end at some point. The time was drawing near when reality could be, uh, could be avoided no longer. 
And that's the end of my story. Thank you for being patient with me and listening. Haha. <laughs> Was that all real? Every syllable. My heart is broken. My hands will always be stained with blood. I fell in the fascination of your father. I've been betraying you for a long time. The boy can be saved from his real the boy can be saved from her from, from his real purpose. His presence alone seems to be to bring disaster and misery. He's just tainted. But the boy is set out on a journey. In hopes that he may keep his misfortunes from the ones he holds dear. He will find and stop the fool magician who created the life he has he has held. What? That's the last remnant of my human heart. I won't be needed anymore. But I want you to take it. It's hardly an adequate way to thank you for the last five years. Yet I can't think of anything better. Oh. I said stop it. I'm still talking about it like it's a dream. You make it sound like nothing's... Like nothing that's happened and it was even real to you. What difference does it make... Does the past, the past make? Your heart is broken? What does that even mean? Look at me. Look into my eyes. They've always seen that boy. In good times and bad. No matter how much the boy was hurting, I always saw how hard he'd kept holding on. Joshua, I love you. Oh boy. Precious came, boys. Just crying. Look at it. Look at the tears. Oh, just crying, dude. You can't just leave me on my own. My feelings won't just go away when you do. I will know you, still. Oh! <gasps> they kiss! Ah! Oh. Joshua. Bruh. Hey, yo. <laughs> Is that hey, yo? I gave you, like, no consent. Give your hands up on me, boy. What was that? So bitter. Oh, shit. It's just a fast acting sedative. Don't worry, there are no side effects. Oh. Why? Why did you. My Stell, you shine like the sun. My time with you was the happiest and the most painful I've ever known. Just as the brightest light casts the, dark, the darkest shadow. If you stay with me, you find out how disgusting my true nature is. Sometimes I think it would have be, been better if we'd never met. No. Hey, you're showing some love in the chat. Uh, no worries, my dude. Appreciate that live gaming. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good day, my friend. But this time is different. I'm grateful that you came to see me. I hate that I have to run from a girl who's so important to me. But it's all I can do. But I want you to know that I'll always be thinking of you. Joshua, Joshua, thank you for everything. You had me from the first moment I met you. I've always loved you. Goodbye, still. The Legend of Heroes. Stora no Kiseki. The first chapter. That's it! That's the game! God damn! So I'm gonna make it a bit louder for you guys. Bro. So yeah. So basically, the next chapter is gonna be about trying to find him, I'm thinking. It'll be us trying to find him. Yeah, that's a pretty unexpected ending, given the fact that pretty much the whole playthrough, it, it felt like, it felt, you know, like, really happy, it felt very upbeat. You know, it had so many good moments about it, so many cheerful moments, but, um, yeah, wow. Well. Uh, wait, what's MM8? What's that? 
Is that is that heroes of uh what's it called? Um Might and something was it was it Might and something, was it? <laughs> so basically Cassius, yeah, Cassius knew all about it. Like he's known who Joshua is the whole time, and he kept it a secret. And like, he brought an assassin to his to his house. The game was good. No, the game was good. Like it no, it's really good, Livy. The the ending really threw me off. The ending was really unexpected. I didn't see it. Basically Joshua has been had been helping the uh Ouroboros, which is supposed to be like a secret society. And the whole time he was um subconsciously uh feeding them information about the Brace Guild. Wow, okay, that's wow. That really threw me off. That was very unexpected. I've, oh, that's the, that, the achievement. It's called I've Always Loved You, Joshua. That's what he is here. Wow. The first chapter, Finn, the end. Yeah. It was really good. Um, It. Like I said, it, it felt like sometimes there was a lot of dialogue. Um, for example, chapter two and chapter three were so heavy on dialogue that kind of like um, it didn't feel too for me personally. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of that. Obviously, some people don't mind the dialogue, but yeah, um, th this game is very heavy on dialogue on the dialogue. Yeah. Uh, I know the second game is supposed to be the longest one, and the third game is supposed to be as long as this one. Um, but yeah, to me, the biggest like the yeah, to me the biggest highlight of the game, yeah, it was the uh, the gameplay. It's something that it felt more refreshing for me, especially having played a lot of Final Fantasy in the in the last you know few years. Um, the story was pretty cool. It was really good. I liked it. Uh, the the twist at the end, basically, where Joshua is. Is basically the one who has been feeding information to um, the professor. The professor always gave me a, a bit of a weird feeling because of his eyes. He always had this like red, like color to it. Like he had his, yeah. No, it was good. It was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. So I do want to continue. Yeah, obviously that was a huge. That was a huge fucking cliffhanger. So you you know you have to play the second game you have to play the second game and I'm guessing that the second game will also have a massive one that will lead into the third game the third and last game of the trilogy Wow Yeah I don't know let's like say the music the music was outstanding the music was amazing I enjoyed the music a lot um the one thing that I would have liked a bit more of would have been a bit more animations. The animations are really well done, but obviously I'm guessing that they, they cost a lot of money really to animate, uh, especially, you know, like 15 years ago. Um, yeah, I think the animation, a bit more animation would have made this a lot more di digestible, especially, like I said before, chapter two and three were so heavy on the dialogue, on the conversations between them. I feel like, yeah, having some voice some voiceovers or some like animations would would make it a bit much easier to digest because um yeah there were times where like there was just so much so much dialogue just so much fucking text that it was like overwhelming because you have to like process so much information of what's happening um but then again you know like chapter two really didn't have a, a huge impact in the overarching story so it wasn't that important i'd say to an extent, it was, it was really funny, honestly. It was just funny. Um, but yeah. Yeah. But it it connects, it connected really well back to the basically the first scenes where, you know, when we see Cassius bring the kid 
uh, you know, Joshua back into the house or into the house for the first time. And, you know, he's like, why are you doing this? Because, yeah, that makes sense now. Because Joshua had tried to kill him. Like, he had tried to kill Cassius. But I'm thinking then, yeah, so am I, am I thinking that when he when he went unconscious, is that when he forgot about everything? Because I think he was aware, right? Like, when Cassius brought him home, he was, Joshua was still aware of who he was and what his objective was. But I think he might have forgotten about his past after he uh, went unconscious. So, yeah. Yeah, why, why did that happen? I'm not sure why that happened. That's kind of like my only thing. Like, why, yeah, how come... I, I'm guessing, you know, I'm guessing the professor must have... Must have uh, showed up. But I'm sure that Cassius would have known, right? Cassius would have known about the professor anyways. Because he's, he's the one who's been trying to fight the society for a long time. Cool. So, yeah, that's uh, basically the first game the trilogy and hopefully I can play the the next two games in this trilogy sometime soon. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. Bye-bye.